This is Granado, now making a good impression, the copycats. Copycats, starring Bobby Dabro. With Gary Wilmot. Johnny Moore. A.J. Harvey. Alan Stewart. Dave Evans. Jessica Martin and Andrew O'Connor. <laughs> A lot of people ask me on why I'm not popular with the other snooker players, but I'd rather be like that than be like Cliff Thorburn. I mean, he's so unpopular, he's so miserable, Cliff Thorburn. When he walked in a pub the other day, he got chucked out because it was happy hour. <laughs> Cookie with meat is very versatile, you know. Meat is very, very versatile. You could roast it, you could fry it, you could do all sorts of things. Or you could use one of these, you know. What you do, you get your bit of meat and you put it on the stick like that. And you hold it over a flame. It's a new thing from Africa, you know. It's called a non pan frying stick. <laughs> Can't Tell Records present Golden Oldies, a superb collection of musical memories and bringing tears to your eyes is Johnny Ray. If you're sweet, oh, sends a letter of goodbye. No secret, you'll feel better. I'm afraid, Mr. Cricket, we've had to amputate your legs. <laughs> no, Will it take me long to recover? No, no, don't worry. Six weeks, and we'll have you back on your feet again. Oh. <laughs> oh, hello. hello. Oh, I just been cleaning the toilets. It's our job, you know. You've got to break them up to get them in the washing machine. <laughs> oh. Listen, I shouldn't be doing this work. I shall be a yellow coat entertaining everybody. I went to drama school, you know. It was very exclusive. You either had to be very talented or lots of money just to get in. I'm still repaying the loan. <laughs> you know, I'm one of the, uh, I'm one of the Marx Brothers. You probably know me. There were three of us. Groucho Marx, Karl Marx, and Skid. <laughs> The trouble with Skid was, he never knew when to stop. <laughs> anyway, what'd you learn at school today? No, nothing, just music. I hate it. Blah, 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 blah. Anyway, you see, you've got to practice, Jimmy, before you can play the music you see. How, how are you on the scales? Six and a half stone in the nuddy. <laughs> uh, musical scales, you idiot. You've got to learn the scales before you can play the music. Can you, can you play air on a G-string? No, but I can play something in a pair of Y-fronts. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Anyway, Jimmy, you'll never be another Mantovani. Who? Huh? You're telling me you don't know Mantovani. I don't even know his wife, Woman Tavani. <laughs> silly. Does your music teacher play a violin? No, she just plays a piano. She just thumps out in the piano. Oh. Well, does she play pianissimo? Yeah, that's why she keeps falling off the stool. Oh. <laughs> Golden Oldies says, may each day bring you Andy Williams. May each day in the week be a good day.
Good night, everybody. <laughs> you say the body was, uh, stung by bees, and bitten by fleas, and poisoned by spiders? <laughs> that sounds like a case for homicide. Uh, sounds like he needs insecticide. <laughs> you know, you know what you should do, you know. <laughs> when you buy meat, now this is true, lady, listen to me, you know. When you buy meat, you've got to have a butcher you can trust. Yeah, my butcher, I can trust him. He's a bit short-sighted, he's got a figure in every part. <laughs> I don't like the Germans, me. It's bombed out chip shops. <laughs> But they don't talk proper duty. Oh, them Germans don't talk proper duty. <laughs> Do you know, Jam German for bra. Stop them flopping. <laughs> Hey, they want you outside. Who wants me outside? Everybody in here. <laughs> <laughs> I've still got it. Tommy, you're not laughing. What's the matter, Cocker? I, have you forgotten the lines or what? No, I haven't forgotten my lines, Bobby. But I've got some bad news. Well, don't worry. If you don't scratch it, it'll clear up in the morning. <laughs> no, listen. It's the producer. Excuse me, ladies. It's a meeting. <laughs> he said he's going to get rid of one of us. Mm -hmm. He's not happy. What do you mean? One of us has got to go. Don't worry, Tommy. We can still be friends, lover. You don't understand, do you? I do... Shut up over there, please! Calm down. Let you... I do understand. I do understand. But don't worry, because you can get a job anywhere with a physique like Tommy's. What could you do, Tom? You could be a lumberjack in a mushroom farm. <laughs> Let gentlemen... No, let gentlemen, you could do any job. He could be a hitman for brownies. Let gentlemen... <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Golden Oldies brings you the warm, wonderful world of Louis Armstrong. As it trains of green, red roses too. I'll watch them blue for me and for you. And I think to myself, what a wonder. All the world. Yeah. I think to myself, <laughs> what a wonderful world. And, oh, by the way, I've got some new cookbooks to show you here. Lots of cookbooks on the market. I haven't read one myself, but I will one day since I learned to write. <laughs> <laughs> We've got this one here. Cookie with centipods by the Galloping Gourmet. Look at that. <laughs> That's a good one here. Yeah, this is a good one. Look, look. What's Cookie by Joan Collins? <laughs> She shows you all the different things you can do with a sausage. Now, no. <laughs> Flaming Dora. Oh. I had a doctor about this cough. Gave me these pills. Look at them. I said, what are these? He said, laxatives. I said, Flaming laxatives? Well, they helped me stop coughing. He said, believe me, take them, you won't dare cough. <laughs> I don't think you do understand, you know, Bobby. I mean, I've got a contract here mm, 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 for the next series, mm, mm, made out to me. Mm, mm, Your name's not mentioned. Mm, mm, it's not me that's got to go. Mm, mm, it's you. Let's have a look at that. Have a look. Piggy! <laughs> <laughs> I'm filling up now, I'm You're filling up. up. It's your own fault, I'm telling you. You really hate me deep down inside. Let's have a good day. He really hates me. Yeah. I do. I do. 
Oh, deep oh, down inside, you really hate me. I don't hate you, Bob. And it's your own fault you want to get that girlfriend of yours in the act, didn't it? Don't be ridiculous, of course I Ladies don't. Ladies and gentlemen, he's been trying to get his bird in the act for ages, and I don't know why he sees it as she's pig and ugly. What are you doing, ugly? <laughs> My girlfriend is a model. She's a cover girl. Half a Farmer's Weekly, Tom. <laughs> I'll tell you what. <laughs> bunch in, bunch in, bunch in, bunch in. I'll tell you a few home truths about Tommy's girlfriend, right? Tommy's girlfriend is so ugly, Peeping Tom's knock on her front door at night time and tell her to close the curtains. <laughs> <laughs> when she puts her lipstick on, it backs down the tube. Ladies and gentlemen, Tommy's girlfriend, I don't want to be rotten, but if beauty skin deep, she's inside out. <laughs> she's picking ugly. Another golden oldie. The smoky voice of the legendary Matt King Cole. Mona Lisa, Mona Lisa, men have named you. You're so like a lady with a mystic smile. Is it only cause you're lonely men have blamed you for that Mona Lisa strangeness? <laughs> If your travel agent can find a holiday offering the same comfortable hotel, the same tasty food, and the convenience of flying from Manchester cheaper in these brochures than with Sky Tours, we'll match it. They don't come cheaper than Sky Tours. There's only one coffee with a smooth, mellow flavor that can turn an ordinary coffee break into a mellow moment. So funny, kid. You take things awful serious, don't you? I'm not the guy for you. Oh, come on, Bogey. I'll make you a cup of mellow birds. You're pretty sweet. So are you. How's the coffee? It's been awful nice. Another cup? Mellow birds for mellow moments. Every day should have some. Anyway, I'm going to do some impressions now for you, because I like doing people. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do 600 impressions in three seconds. <laughs> I'll start with Frank Spencer, and I'm going to end with James Cagney. Here goes. Count them. Oh, Betty, I'm having a bit of trouble. You dirty rat. Thank you. That was a good one, Betty. Yeah. If you put your fingers in your ears, it really sounds like them. <laughs> right, Norman, come on, admit it. It was you who did the safe job at the Grange. I'm telling you, I didn't do it. We know it was you. We can prove it. How? Well, your fingers were all over the safe. Oh, you can't prove nothing. And what's more, you can't hold me here any longer unless you charge me. And you can't charge me because you ain't got any evidence. So up yours, right, copper. You <laughs> no, 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 Jack is right in the... You can't prove it. You'll have to let them go. Right, Norman. On your bike. And Norman, if I find your fingers on the other safe around these parts, I'll run you in so fast your feet oh. won't touch the ground. <laughs> And now, the original Blondie, it's Doris Day. When I was just a little girl, I asked my mother, what will I be? Will I be pretty? Will I be rich? Here's what she said to me. Hey, Sarah, Sarah, whatever will be, will be. The future's not ours to see. <laughs> What? You see, you've got to have ambition. You, don't you want to be another Jaffa? I don't even want to be a tangerine. <laughs> Match Jaffa, you idiot. I don't care. I've lost my violin anyway. 
You've lost it. Yeah. What's that down there in your case? That's my machine gun. Oh, your machine gun. Yeah. Thank goodness for that. <laughs> I thought it was your violin. <laughs> right, you see it? Aye, go ahead. Okay. Take me a wee minute to get it out. Aye. Here. Good heavens, that is a gun. What are you doing with that? Me and my pals go out and shoot some traffic wardens. Oh, I think that's <laughs> terrible. I think that step's mm -hmm. very dangerous playing with guns. What if you go and shoot your teacher by mistake? That wouldn't be a mistake. That'd be fun, Dabby Doody! <laughs> oh, I think it's terrible. Does your, does your headmaster know about this? He buys the bullets. <laughs> well, I don't think it's very clever. I think you're a naughty boy playing with guns. I'm going to ask the audience here what they think. Boys and girls, should he play with guns? No! no. There you see. They don't want you playing with guns. They're just spoiler sports, that's all they are. <laughs> 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 you stupid idiot! Look <laughs> <laughs> what you've done, you've shot the entire audience there at London weekend television! I was only doing what I was told. And who told you to shoot them? The boss at the BBC. <laughs> Here's the tenor with the golden tonsils. Remember, David Whitfield. why must we say goodbye each time we part? I've got to get up early and bite the postman because the dog's not well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only joking. <laughs> we haven't really got a dog. <laughs> it's terrible, Your Honor. The plastic surgeon promised to give me a full and ample breast. But things went out of control and just look while I went and did. <laughs> I'm going to adjourn the court, weigh the evidence, and put it in the hands of the jury. Ho ho! <laughs> <laughs> It's supposed to be an impressionist show anyway. I hate impressionists. Impressionists scammer the earth. No matter who you ask them to do, they always sound like a cross between Frank Spencer and a whoopee cushion. <laughs> and it's so easy anyone can do impressions. Even I can do them. Look, I do one. I do a good impression. This is my impression, my impression of Joan of Arc, Joan of Arc at the stake. <laughs> <laughs> There's absolutely nothing I can do. I can do Joan Collins next. <laughs> Golden Oldies bring you the original Moonlighter, Frankie Vaughan. Give me the moonlight, <laughs> give me the girl, and mine, she's bound to be. <laughs> if there's anyone in Try me out, give me the moonlight, give me the game, leave the rest to me. Not funny, that's marvellous, isn't it? You know, you're all gimmicks, you are. I mean, anyone can do what you can do. A wig, moustache, pair of braces, anyone can do it. I'll show Tommy, you. I'm an original legend, man. I'm an original, aren't I? Yes. I'm an original, I'll do lots of jokes. I do impressions, Tom. Benjamin, quick impression, Irish peeping Tom. Look at that down there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 gentlemen, once again, I don't do. You little liar. You'll go for me, cocker. Rock on, dummy. Pig in hell. Leave <laughs> <laughs> the mirror. <laughs> Thank you.
I got you then. <laughs> See, anyone can do it. No, don't talk that. I'm original. Bobby Ball, the original comic, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, well, you <laughs> This is your replacement, and you've come to audition, haven't you, my little honey bunch? Little honey bunch? Wait a moment, Tom. Don't pull the wool over my knees, Tommy. <laughs> this is your girlfriend. Not so much girlfriend, not so much Bobby Ball, but Bobby Bold. Look! <laughs> <laughs> You're right, pal. Come on, let's go for a pint. That'll do for me. Come on. No, it's always me, isn't it, eh? You're always picking on me. What I'd like to know, Walker, right, is this. You're so mean. If you ever won the football pools, what on earth would you do about all those begging letters? Why, I'd k k k keep sending them. <laughs> I just finished doing a super duper film where I did this love scene with Richard Gere. It was absolutely wonderful. And then afterwards, Alvin said, I think you enjoyed that too much, Lisa. I said, Oh, don't be silly, darling. I was only acting. He said, Yes, I know. But there was no need to go for an Oscar. <laughs> Good evening. It was a news flash, and this is Sandy Gall reading it. After a collision on the M1 motorway today, a lorry has shed its load of onions. Motorists are advised to use a hard shoulder to cry on. <laughs> oh, I'm sick of this, are you? Who wants to be Sandy Gall anyway? Bags under his eyes, broken ooter. I bet he doesn't even want to be Sandy Gall. <laughs> Driving down the road in your taxi at uh, 100 miles an hour and a fly hits your windshield. Splat, like that. <laughs> you know the last thing that goes through the fly's mind? It's bum. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ian Botham. I've just come back from America where I've been in a film called Lassie. I played the lead. And while I was there, a guy came up to me and said, I really envy you. I said, you envy me? I caught him out. I said, how's that? He said, well, you know, it's amazing. And I said, well, well what is? He said, well, the other night, I went to bed and I dreamt all about being a cricketer for England. And I said, you dreamt about being a cricketer for England? Don't you ever dream about things like beautiful women? He said, what, miss my turn to bat? <laughs> Hi. Hello, Beauty. Well, my wife and I have an argument just about who goes where in the bed. So the other night, I drew a center line right down the middle. It was all right for a while, but then she put a finger over. And then a hand. And then her arm. A bit later on, she put a foot over. Then a leg over. <laughs> and then another leg. What have you got to say to that, Greavesy? Well, Sam, what can I say? I mean, these women's typical, isn't it? They keep all the best bits for themselves. <laughs> Prince. Fingerprints. Fingerprints. <laughs> uh, I'm Chris Quinton. Mark Baldwin bought his Jag round garage last week. He said, what's wrong, Chris? I said, piston broke. He said, ah, you're spending too much time down discotheques. <laughs>